to the Panton Hill Oval for day two of this semi-final between Panton Hill and Mill Park. Here we have Ron McDougall who was bowling me over before the rain came. So let's see him continue this over at the Pavilion End. And welcome to all our international viewers. We can see the second day has started. And to replay on what happened yesterday, Panton Hill was sent into field by the Milparkians, and Milpark ended up 4 for 89 as they all hit it away for the first run today. So to continue to bowl at the Roger end is Tikuma with figures of number 14 of 7. There's a recap on what happened yesterday. Kukowski bowled Bentley for 4. Stevens LBW Alcom made for 12. Alan Yao caught bowling bowled Bentley for 0. With Gilmore bowls. And Kazi caught Gilmore bowled Bentley for 39. Harrower not out 26 overnight. McMaster not out 1. Now Harrower has added one run to his score. It is 4 for 90. Now, oh, excellent bouncer, but not too hot. Alistair Bentley was the star with the ball yesterday, taking three scalps, three for 22 off his two runs. Gully where Ashley Howe is fielding. No rough. Hear me. Very bad misfield there.
on Penn, you know, late, like, they're trying to score off fast, the Mill Park Inns, because they know that they're running out of time if they're going to win this game, and Penn will need to be able to take the, those chances. And it's real key that the ball is getting the right areas. Now, Teddy Bill is just a gully and a short mid wicket for Bellingham. This should be out. So that is the end of Arawa. He is caught probably by George of the bowling of Gilmore for 34. Batsman is C. Dickens. Oh, bowling at the body. Very good bowling by Gilmore. Not giving any room to the batsman. He is for Mill Park to bat very aggressively to get some runs on the board to declare. And they'll take a quick single. Joining us back into the comments box, special comments, Mark Bowen. But there won't be that many special comments. There's re plenty of air given by Bellingham, but couldn't make contact with the new batsman, Dickens. But he does that time, he'll get a single. completely beaten, that was the off spinner, and went between bat and pad of the batsman defending. Good bowling by Bellingham, but a little bit too much air. And the bowling, it's going to be George at the Roger end. Left arm Chinaman. They're not going for that deep mid wicket that they've continually used for George's bowling, but mostly an outer ring. So asking him to hit over, and there might be a quick single round. And first ball, George into the attack has taken the wicket. That's the end of. Dickens, or oh, Dickens is bold by George. But do I the end of him? He's out for two, so that's the end of Dickens. Bold by George for two. Six wickets down. New batsman of the crease, Jay Delaney here. Oh, uh, facing Heath, who has just taken his first wicket. And he'll look to be on top here. And that's the end of that. Well, Delaney didn't last long. But he skied the ball high in the air. And he's out first ball for a duck. And George is going to face the George Patrick ball. Jay Ilyovsky. Catch by the player 
that took the last catch, Buckland. Not this term. With Moorpark needing to score quickly to be able to set Paninella target. It doesn't look good for them right now. Georgian. Oh, and just short of Bellingham. Exaggerated dive. Oh, that was better by Bellingham. He flighted the ball and the batsman waited for it, but it was just too short to play that sort of shot. Better bowling. And he needs to keep it going if he's going to pick up some wickets while Mill Parker trying to slog. We welcome back our South Australian viewers after they watch the country hour. Now, you'll see Haddon Hill in a solid position here. continue at the Roger end and that's the end of that so another wicket for George excellent bowling and he's gotten rid of one of the batsmen I think it might have been Elaine no I'm not sure who his name is now can't remember but that's the end of him bowled by George and Pennenhill looks to be forcing the result. With George with his spinning Chinamans has been able to pick up free scalp this morning after he got hit around yesterday. So he's definitely making a name for himself here. He ended up with nine wickets I think at twenty five of the ball. So saw it here for the young man. It was Ilyovsky who just fell. The new batsman is Brown. <laughs> Special commentator Mark Bellingham, how long do you think the Mill Parkians will bat? And he hits the gap. Four valuable runs. The end of the over. Well, that's a declaration. Mill Park at 8 for 125 had forced the declaration. And the Gutsmen are going off. And Penn and Hill need 126 runs to seal a victory and get into the grand final. And if they don't get bowled out, then they'll still win.
to get onto the field. So Bellingham will face first ball and we've got the opening ball the ball. To open the bowling for Mill Park at the pavilion end is Dickens. Right arm medium. And straight away runs. So Kavanagh to face. Dickens to Kavanagh. Reasonable pace, Dickens. A lot of upper arm in that uh, those deliveries. And down leg, and they'll get a run. But and a run. And he'll get. Run, run. So, Mill Park opening roller to ball the Roger and Kavanagh. Down leg, wide called. To, for, for Mill Park to be able to win this game, they need to bowl no extras at the least to be able to stop Hannon Hill from scoring 126 runs. So the opening bowler is Alan Yeah. to Bellingham. Oh, Bellingham's averaging 37 for the year, so an excellent season for him. But can he come through for this semi-final? And, oh dear. Edging it to the slips, but not hanging on, that was a valuable drop. And Bellingham gets a life. Special commentator, Mark Bellingham. But they're not going to get an LBW that way. Unless it's a giant big leg cutter from the left hander. Continuing. Rolling the wrist spelling in. First wicket has fallen. Candidilla one for seven. As Kavanagh falls caught in the slips of the bowling of Stickers for zero. And coming out the skipper Bradley Mitchell to join the opening batsman Bellingham. 126 runs to win Pan Hill, with 9 with an air. First ball, Dickens to Mitchell. Alan Yeah.
it's gonna be out. Okay, this is a key. Dickens to Mitchell. Two slips. Short cover. Short midway. They can get Mitchell out. And edging it through the gully and come back for two. Mitchell's off the mark. Mitchell averaging over 60 for this home and away season. And he come through in the finals. Very, very solid defense. And an edge, another edge through the slips and gets Mitchell another run. Not the greatest of convincing ways to get your runs, but Mitchell will want to make many more runs, a lot more convincing through his inning. Dickens to Billing. And leg glance. Four runs to Billingham. Not convincing, but he was able to wait for the ball and Hit it away before down to deep back with square leg. And, alright. Yeah, it's 1 for 14 off 7 overs here. Kavanaugh out for 0. Bellingham 7 not out. Mitchell 3 not out. And Dickens 1 for 12. Uh, Alan Yao none for 1. Yeah. As Mitchell will take strike to face. First ball to Alan Yao, left arm medium swing bowler. Here he is. And it's it into the gap. They'll get a few here. Coming back for two. One slip, a gully, two covers and a point for Mitchell. And yes, very poor strategy bowling as four runs to Mitchell. And times out well, to get some more runs. And shot there, and just the one, just the one. I'll get one run there. One run to Bellingham. Dickens to Mitchell. And another ball down leg, and very good timed leg glance. They'll get a couple. Mitchell, the team's best batsman in Bellingham. The second or third best batsman in the team. Really, this is the key batsman for the side. As Mitchell late cuts it down to the third man boundary for four. <coughs> Very delicate late cut. Very textbook. Five, Bowlers Harrower placing Alan Yao from the Roger Road. Looks to be about right arm medium. As no run through the slip for them. Dickens.
Pipkins ended up with five overs, one twenty-one from his overs. As Bellingham's beaten and he's out. Well, that's the second wicket, and this is big. Bellingham is out, caught behind the bowling of Harawa for ten, and that's the second wicket gone. So now coming out is Alastair Bentley, the team's bowling line. Alastair Bentley comes to the crease, a solid average of 24 for the season. Didn't exactly show anybody his true talents with the bat this season, but he has an opportunity today. Facing 126, Mill Park with their tails up, and they're really desperate because they need the wickets to win the match. Alistair Bentley facing his first ball from Harrower at the Roger end. Down leg. There's three balls, Kazi from the um, pavilion end. Now, keep has gone up to the stumps. No. Close to it, probably right arm medium. Fair to say. As he's about to start. Yeah. 
but they survived. And excellent bowling there by Kazi, but doesn't get the edge. Continuing. 